In this video, we're going to create a program in C that's going to read in the entire contents of a file and store them into a character array as a string. So for example, if we have files that look like this, that have a certain amount of content in them, we want to be able to store this entire content, including the new line characters, into a character array as a string. Now we're going to store this character array on the heap using dynamically allocated memory. So we're going to include stdlib.h because this library includes the malloc function that will allow us to dynamically allocate that space. We're going to write a function to solve this problem for us. And the function is going to return that dynamically allocated string. The function will be called read file and it's going to accept the file name itself as an argument. We'll provide a definition of the function down here. So the first thing we'll do is open the file. So we'll create a file pointer variable called file. And then we'll try to open the file with the given file name in read mode. So f open file name r is going to attempt to open the file with this file name in reading mode. Now, if fopen can't open the file successfully, it's going to return null. So we'll check for that. If file is equal to null, we're going to have the function return null because we can't really read from a file that we haven't opened. Next, we'll actually figure out how many characters are in the file because that's going to tell us how much space we need to allocate on the heap for our character array. So we'll say fseek file zero seek end. So fseek is going to move the file pointer to the end of the file using this constant seek end. This second argument here, zero, is a potential offset we could give from seek end, but we actually want to be at the exact end of the file. So we'll give an offset of zero as a second argument. Next, we can figure out the length of the file in terms of the number of characters by saying int length is equal to ftel file. So ftel is going to return the current value of the position indicator, which will give us the number of characters in the file. Next, we can move the file pointer back to the beginning of the file. So we can start reading each character from the file. So we'll say fseek file zero seek set. So this time we use the constant seek set to move the file pointer back to the beginning of the file. We have an offset of zero because we want to be at the exact beginning of the file with no offset from there. Now we can dynamically allocate space for our character array that's going to store our string. So we'll say car star string is equal to malloc size of car times, and we're going to say length plus one. So the reason why we say length plus one is that we know the file contains length number of characters, but our string also has to have the special null terminator character that terminates the string. So that's why we have to have plus one there to include space for the null terminator. Now we can read in the characters of the file one at a time. We'll create a car variable called C to store each character. We'll create an int variable called I and set it equal to zero. And we're gonna use I as our index into this character array to store each character of the string. Next, we'll say while C is equal to F get C file does not equal EOF. So the way that this works is that F get C each time it's called is going to read in the next character of the file. So first it'll read in the character A. The next time it's called, it'll read in the character B. The next time it's called, it will read in the character C and so on. Now, eventually, once we reach the end of the file, f get c is going to return the special EOF value for end of file. So each time we're going to take what f get c returns and we're going to assign it to c. Normally, that's going to be a character, and we're going to take that character and store it into our string character array. But eventually, f get c is going to return that special EOF value. And that's when we want to stop doing this. So the way that assignment expressions work in C is that the expression takes on the value of whatever was assigned to the variable here. So in this case, 
when we assign a character like A to C, this entire assignment expression is going to have the value of that character A. And that's not going to equal the special value end of file. And so the loop will continue reading the next character. Now, eventually, when F gets C does return the special end of file value, this entire assignment expression is going to take on that special EOF value. It will no longer be true that this doesn't equal EOF because EOF will equal EOF and the loop will stop at that point. So in the loop body, we're going to take in that character and assign it to our character array called string at index i. And then we're going to increment i so that way we store the next character we read in at the next index in the string. Then finally, when we're done, we'll set the character array at index i equal to the null terminator to terminate our string. And then we'll call fclose file to close our access to the file. And then we're going to say return string to return the pointer to the dynamically allocated string that we've created. Now let's test this function out. In our main function, we'll prompt the user for the file name of the file they want to read. And then we'll use our read file function with that file. So we'll say car file name 1024. So we have a spot to store the actual file name that the user enters. We'll prompt the user by saying printf file colon. We use a scanf to take what they enter and store it into that file name character array. Then we'll try calling the function. We'll say car star file contents is equal to read file file name. Now, if there's a problem opening the file, we know the function is going to return null. So we'll check for that. If file contents is equal to null, we're going to printf error reading file backslash n for a new line, and we're going to return one. So we'll handle the error gracefully by telling the user that there was an error reading the file. And we're going to return one here instead of returning zero because returning one is a signal to the shell here, to the terminal that something went wrong in the execution of our program. Then we can print out the file contents. So we'll say printf file contents colon. We'll put a couple of new lines in here. So a couple backslash ends to output some new lines percent s for the string that contains the file contents backslash n and then file contents. And then finally, we're going to free file contents. So we're going to do that because we are using dynamically allocated memory. And at this point we are done with it. So as a best practice, we're going to free that memory. So we'll save this and we can try our program out now. Here we'll say GCC dash O D D dot C to compile our program. It compiles. Okay. Let's run it. Let's try file one.txt and we get the file contents. Let's try it again. File two.txt and we get the file contents. So that's how we can create a string containing all the contents of a file using C. Check out portfoliocourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.